Am I in the frame? I'm in the frame, right? I don't get that shit. Yeah, yeah. man. with the Browns after his domestic violence incident when he was in Vegas kicking a uh, kicking old girl right, in the ribs and, and slapping on, her up baby. all on yeah. camera yeah. but he, he got a second chance here with Cleveland the league hasn't officially suspended him or done anything so I don't know when he gonna come back but I feel like Cleveland did a great job getting that man a second chance yeah, I mean, shit, if if the league allows him to play, then Cleveland made an excellent pickup, you know what I'm saying? But on the other note, does the league allow him to play? You I mean, know, like, I don't see him get more than a year suspension. What a, a year? In, in other situations... So niggas can just beat bitches and it's good. I mean... That's what I'm saying, in other situations... So your life should be over bad. So your life should no Ray Rice didn't get banned. Ray Rice got a year suspension. Well, Ray Rice was thirty two. I feel like so when Ray Rice got a year suspension, now you're coming back potentially at thirty four years old at running back. That's why he didn't get back in the league. Kareem Hunt is twenty five. Even if he takes a year suspension, he's coming back twenty six, healthy. My whole thing is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, your life should be over because they're like, like how how bad did he beat her? Or it don't even matter how bad her life is over. She gonna be looking at this, she looked at it as the female that got beat up. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, if if, if her life, life is ain't affected, over though, no her life is over. But you don't know the, the mental damage. It's deeper than just the physical. What about the mental damage that she went through from that experience? So then she can't recover. So then basically everybody incarcerated should never get a second chance at life because they did something. If you beat that, bitches and that, raping bitches, that could mentally hurt somebody. If you did something to somebody, it can ment but mentally this, damage this is them. So, so, so there's no recourse? There's no no second chances for nobody? That's a delicate for, situation for, for a female. Especially him he being should, in the public eye, though. Yeah, he shouldn't lose like, his career over what happened. I, right, so I he's, I then, then he is no, it's no consequence. I yeah, feel like yeah. when I, were, I raised my kids that with every action is a consequence. There, there got to be a consequence. If he just could get away with that and like, oh, yeah, you back in the league, there ain't no consequence. If if it's my nigga be, if my nigga Cap just taking me and he can't get in the league and this nigga over here beating bitches he can get in the league but he hasn't been formally that's not a problem he hasn't been formally prosecuted there is no charges but there's footage charge. yeah there's footage come on like just look at it like look at it deeper though how Cap who just took yeah, a knee nice. for the people for the people and a nigga beating our women he get to come back. Does that make sense? I still believe he needs a second chance. Just like Kaepernick deserves a second chance. Kaepernick deserves a second chance. I don't think the nigga do. I think because he's he in the be public eye, he's yeah. looked at differently. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. And we pretty much like Kareem Hunt point. was a superstar player. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He had the league in wrestling what, last year? Exactly. He, was he wasn't just your average run of the mill. He was, he was a superstar player. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, he pretty much so he's looked at in a different yeah. light. Exactly. you got to accept that responsibility as, a, as an athlete. In that 
that's looked at like that. You know what I'm saying? Act right, nigga. I don't know, but you still, I, I'm a part of Cleveland. He need to go like coach out of high second. school. But hey, like I said, if, <laughs> if the league lets him play, if the league lets him play, then that's a great pickup for Cleveland because they was already on the come up. So let's go to basketball. So what is the Lakers going to do now, man? Them niggas tried to trade the whole house. Pelican <coughs> played them niggas, boofed them out. Them niggas didn't get nothing. And now they're sitting here with one open roster spot that might sign Melo. Carmelo? Carmelo Anthony. He's cleared the buyout waivers, and the Lakers got nobody. So it's looking like that's the biggest splash I'd they can rather make at than, this point. I'd rather than pick up Marquise Morris. I think he's a more consistent player at this point in time. If this was Carmelo four or five years ago, hell yeah, run it. But Carmelo's been destroying teams. The past, <laughs> the past few teams he's been on, he's been destroying them. And we already in bad shape, so stay over there, bro. Man, y'all, what, 10th right now? Is the Lakers even going to make the playoffs? Hey, even if you squeeze into a 7th AC, you're going to run into Houston. You don't want to go to state. Yeah, but to see, see the, the, the beginning of the season, though. Even if you struggle to get into the playoffs, it's a quick out for the Lakers. At the beginning of the season, though, that was all we was expecting of them. It wasn't until we started winning and we was like, oh, shit, like, we're actually really good <coughs> to win. We was in fourth place and we started talking that Western Conference Finals type shit. Yeah. Then LeBron goes down, Rondo goes down, Lonzo goes down. You know what I'm saying? Like... Our team got depleted, and then with the whole Anthony situation, uh, Anthony Davis situation, that took away the chemistry. You, see, you know what I'm see saying? That nigga magic fake. Cause how you gonna say Kyle Kuzma? We gonna hang his jersey up in the Raptors? Yeah. And then the first thing you get out, uh, you want Kuzma? This nigga I mean, don't give a fuck, man. This nigga would trade anybody. Hey, magic is a businessman. He a businessman. It's not fake. He a businessman. Yeah. But don't don't say quotes like that. If you well, business the nigga man, was, you nigga was on his shit. Man, do not make statements like I that agree. where you have to retract on yourself. I That's agree. a businessman move. Any businessman, you you gonna tell your employees nah. what they want to hear? How are you gonna get to a job? He told the reporters that he didn't tell them. Yeah, that. but the employees gonna watch it. Do the employees not watch it? Yeah, but come, yeah, come on. on now, what you gonna say? Oh yeah, we gonna, we just waiting for the trade him. That's you gonna say? Yeah. We just waiting for the right opportunity to trade him. You can't say that. You yeah, gotta you say, gotta yeah, we gonna, we gotta woo woo. woo. How you gonna get the best work out of them? Uh, it's like if you, you, it's like working at a warehouse when they be like, "Hey man, we gotta get these numbers up. The numbers was good last month. We gotta get them up a little more. If we get them up a little more, we gonna get y'all lunch. That lunch will never come. Never. Cause the numbers they never got, but the numbers probably exceeded. But y'all don't know that. Cause we're really looking at the numbers, damn. They that's how they motivate you. It's motivation. It's business. And then they give you the lunch, you get a little bullshit ass, you know what I'm saying, weak yeah. ass pizza, you know, some bullshit. I don't, I don't know, get you no real. I, I feel like the Lakers ain't even going to make the playoffs. This was a terrible job by Magic. I don't know, nobody, Kobe, y'all had Kobe, nobody wants to play with Kobe, and now nobody going to want to play with LeBron. I'm a Clipper fan. I, don't want to play I, with feel, LeBron. I feel like Kawhi's coming to the Clippers for sure. I hope. Yeah, nah, we, we cleared space during that trade right now, getting rid of Tobias Harris. I feel like so we got to the Lakers, two, though. Two. So we, <coughs> but it, under the new collective bargaining agreement, it's as much as your owner wants to spend. He can go into a luxury tax as much as he wants if he wants to spend his own bread. Uh, Balmer, the, yeah, the new owner of the, the new owner, he is the richest owner in the NBA. Of so, the Lakers? No, the Clippers. Oh. You know, he he bought the team after uh, the whole Donald Sterling race. Oh, they got rid of him? Yeah, they, they got Donald Sterling out. And Ballmer owned the team and rebranded it. But he's the richest owner in the NBA. So if anybody got money to blow, it's getting is Ballmer. So the Clippers... Ballmer or Ballmer? Ballmer. Ballmer? The Clippers have never signed a marquee free agent. Any star that they ever got, they got through trade or free agent. I mean, or draft. Nobody has ever chosen to sign with the Clippers in its entirety of a franchise. And this summer, is going to change. We're getting two niggas. You a Clipper fan? I'm a Clipper fan. Oh, okay. How long has that been going on? What? Clipper fan? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I grew up 
I grew up a Hornets fan. Because most people yeah, like, like, come on, look, like, look how serious this face was. How, how do you become a Clipper fan? That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's my that's question. Let me explain it. I grew up a Hornets fan. So, Baron Davis was my favorite player. Okay. Then Baron Davis left, and he came to the Clippers. So, I liked the Clippers. But I still was a Hornets fan. Okay. Then Chris Paul came. Chris Paul was my favorite player. See, that's Chris where Paul, that's man. where it was fucked up. Yeah. That was that was the fuck up number one. Because Chris Paul was a Laker for 15 minutes. <laughs> and then, then y'all stole him from yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so okay. then, <laughs> then, then when Chris Paul came to the Clippers, and then the Hornets became the Pelicans, right. I was like, all right, I, 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 can't, mean, fuck I can't fuck with that. I'm officially a Clipper. I fucked with the Hornets. But the Hornets logo. is back now, though. I know, but that was after the Hornets came to LA. I'm a Clipper. Okay. The Hornets had a That's fire ass logo. They jersey? Yeah. They had a cold ass jersey. And then them throwbacks. Hey, do you think they got a hard, uh, Hornets Chris Paul jersey? Yeah. You can find one? Yeah, you can probably find a throwback. Oh, I have one. I got a Hornets Baron Davis jersey. What? <coughs> you out. You out here. So, so let's get to So it. yeah, like when the nigga, uh, when them niggas was on, the Clippers? What? Oh, what the uh, uh, Clippers? Darius Mondo didn't yeah, fuck with them. I mean, that was cool, but see, oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. Brandy. If only that's real that's Clipper that's fans are, that's those that's are the real Clipper fans. Yeah, the yeah. ones from them. So that's a fight. What about Lamar Odom? Lamar Odom, Lamar Odom was yeah. never that guy to me. Quit but he was. Quinn oh. Thompson was the guy out of those three to me. Uh, Darius Miles, he was okay. He he was like he had some bounce, but he didn't do nothing. Hey, nigga, I fucked with Darius Miles. Alright, man, we back after some technical difficulties. Nigga, fuck it up. Alright, man, fucking up and shit. Camera died and shit, but we back, man. Yeah. So, like, we were saying about the Grammys, you said it was it was a popularity contest? Or no, 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 no. I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that seems like what it is based on who won, but really what it is is, like, the Grammys work, like, like similar to politics. So, you have candidates... In, in politics, you have candidates, and then they go through the popular election, and then that that then decides who the actual two candidates are going to be, right? Yeah, thanks. Okay, in the Grammys, you have 100 albums, however many albums come out in a year, and then you have, the, there's a certain amount of people that are allowed to vote. For the Grammys, they're like the Grammy members. <laughs> now, there's a certain criteria to becoming a Grammy member, which we're not gonna get into right now. But once you're in there, you're allowed to vote for every single category that's that's on the Grammys. So, Cardi B wins the Grammys. Why? Because she's the, she had the most popular album this year. Facts. Facts. You know, as far as I'm not, I'm not if you arguing were doing the. Popularity, I, for me, an album is like not just like a mixtape. An album is like a purpose to it. It has a concept. Have you heard it? Yes, I've heard it. My you girl heard the Cardi B album. Yeah, my girl played the So you heard? Uh, you heard? Knock me down. She sing, has. She knock has. Knock me down. What do you say? Knock me down nine times. Nine you know times. My girl sing that song all day. That's not real. Yeah, that's some real shit. But she talk about when she talk about. I'm not saying that it, it's. But, not but, but did you hear the part where she said? I ended up working at the same strip club that was across the street from my house. Did you hear that? What the fuck the point is that, man? Bro, that you think of what? Nigga, what, that, what a, bro, that shows you like the, the mentality she she came from. Like it wasn't nothing for her. She came from the okay, bottom. But all and I'm, she created I'm not, a way I'm for not herself. knocking none of that. Her all story is, is, is a good All I'm saying is that an album to me has a Later. concept. That's and, and that song and that album to me. Was just like eight songs with like two songs that yeah, actually you heard talked it about. Even eight songs. I'm talking about like eight okay. songs that like were just upbeat, knocking. So the song, the yeah. name of the project. Is the pro the, the songs were all over the place. No, they weren't. The song, the, the name of the project was called Evasion of Privacy. On that project, she talks about being a stripper. She talks about being in love and hip hop. She talks about her relationship with Offset. She talks about uh, her past relationships. She talks about her new found fame, adjusting to the money, adjusting to the lifestyle. The concept seemed like it was hit on every point because the concept was invasion of privacy. So she just let you invade her privacy and brought you into her world. Now, it just because you don't appeal to her world, don't mean she didn't hit the concept on the head. And to me, <laughs> back to what I was saying, is okay. that the niggas that 
the niggas that are allowed to vote, they would obviously they wouldn't fill in none of the other albums. You know what I'm saying? Because they, there's only like I said, there's only so many people that can vote. So who won it so, last year? Uh, rap album of the year was Kendrick Dale. Was it? Yep. That's a big. Bluetooth disconnected. Bluetooth pairing. Big difference from the uh, the type of content. Actually, it's quite the same because Kendrick's popularity is a uh, pretty equal. And he that was uh, that was his first album that was commercially successful. He's never had a commercially successful album. Every song damn there was on the radio. He had humble. He had loyalty. He had love you. He had bro. We can do this all day. I know. I know. Okay, so what, so <laughs> Cardi, where did she have all these songs? She had two songs on. She there. had uh, Bodak oh, Yellow. Oh, oh no, she had. She like had no, no, yeah, she had Bodak that Yellow. That hit the radio sing. Yeah, the radio yeah like she that. had Bodak she Yellow. Had like, I like oh, that. Wow. She had Reed. She had uh, what, what's the other song? She, yeah, she had a couple of them. The Drip song was on there for a little bit. Uh, all her songs, first of all, on the charts, all of them either were platinum or gold. Every song. You see, but streaming that. The but still, nigga, streaming. But streaming it, in the billboards right now, that's like they need to find the medium. Because niggas Drake put out a motherfucking what 50, 50 tracks. Yeah, prior, I, I, see, I didn't like the, I, I didn't even consider Drake's album. I it, thought Drake album had, was a the, I think if Drake album wouldn't have been a double disc, it would have definitely won. Yeah, uh, yeah, I feel like he he, he put, put too many much records out. and people didn't. But have he the did it for the streaming listen. numbers so he can break those records, and he did it. He does it all the time. Bro. So he, he, he had a purpose behind dropping all those songs to get those streaming numbers to break those records. But and I just think Cardi B's album was just more impactful. You know what I'm saying? I think that's really what it is. Like when people get mad about when Macklemore beat Kendrick when he put out, you know. So so why not Mac Miller? Mac Miller could have got it because he died, but that would have just been a pity. It would have just been like on some, oh, he's dead. So I got Mac Miller album was hard, but. Yeah, hard. I didn't hear it. Like I'm saying, like, my whole point was that if if we're mad about, it's like the same thing. We're mad about Trump being in office, but oh, niggas didn't vote. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? We're mad that Cardi B got the damn album of the year, but niggas didn't vote. You know I'm what not saying? mad Cardi. Like, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> we got to get, we got to, we're not Grammy members. We can't vote. Yeah, but that's our problem. You know what I'm saying? We got like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, we're not part of the kid video. So how do y'all feel about all uh, all these female rappers that's breaking into the industry? That shit is tight as fuck. Yeah, to I me. feel like that's healthy for. I them. feel that like that is tight. tight as fuck. It's finally having some type of balance in hip hop. But it's right? all man. People try to act like they don't remember when Lauren Hill, Missy, uh, the Brat, Left Eye. Oh. Foxy, Lil' Kim, all yeah, the people eat. Yeah, yeah that's so a lot of females. The they were all popping. It wasn't like it was just. Yeah. Now it's really like realistic. It's a lot of females in the game, but only three is popping. You know what I'm saying? Iggy. Iggy going to sell. Iggy yeah. going to sell. Iggy's going to yeah. I don't know. City Girls. City Girls on there, but they not selling they like not, that. They not on Nicki Cardi. Like yeah, that. but Iggy's still in the conversation. Like, niggas still know Iggy. Like, Iggy is still one of Iggy the Iggy last ones. single was not cracked. That twerking shit? But the shit still yeah. had 24 right. billion. Because he was twerking. Hey, you got twenty. It's a lot of shit. It's a lot of female yeah, rappers that's twerking that they get twenty. No, she twerked the whole video. She didn't even. I can't get. I feel like so. Who's more out of who's more popular than Iggy? I'm not giving nobody that. I'm putting those two on top, and that's it. You yeah. so you ain't even gonna get Iggy or her props or just no. Iggy's no, not she's making no list. She was here. But I don't know hard. because you gotta she's think. Here. You gotta think worldwide. So Iggy got like that. Yeah, yeah. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy got the worldwide. She got the man. worldwide. I, I have to agree with him. Just because we don't fuck with Iggy. She ain't charting. Uh, she ain't got nothing. She on is. Worldwide, she, she is. is. Worldwide, she is. Bro, I'm looking at the charts every single day. Trust me, I am looking at the charts every day. He knows why. So <laughs> she's not on it. She's not on it. But she ain't got a new song. <laughs> she does have a new song with Tiger. That's what I just that said. That song's old though. That's song's old already. That song came out like a month ago. No, it came out like three. I'll put it up on YouTube. It came out like three months ago. But it got like twenty million views. Hey man, streams is like I was just saying. Streams changed the game. So now she should be. She should get a Grammy. Who? She got twenty million views. That's she she, she, she almost did it. She almost did. Whatever views is most impactful. So if you get twenty million, then you made an impact. You deserve a Grammy. Yeah, 
No, oh, shit. Actually, she got 139 view, million views. That's ridiculous. Seven months ago. But still, it's 139 mil. So yeah, she's she still up making, there. She's making hella noise. She's still up yeah. there. She's making hella noise. You still got to get rid of her. Hey, because where is she at, bro? Nobody's bro, talking about Iggy. Nobody's talking about Iggy. Obviously, her, <laughs> her, her, fan, her, her, her core fan base is there. I'm not trying to say she ain't getting bread, but ain't nobody talking about Iggy. Nigga's not talking about her. The white people talking about Iggy. Nobody at the she radio always, talking about every Iggy. Time, hey, every time nobody I look on Billboard talking look, about Iggy. Every nobody time I'm on my fucking phone Iggy. and I'm trying to watch a music video, her white, sexy, angel, face ass, Get on there talking about some post mates. I jump on Twitter right now. <laughs> she's selling post mates now. Me. She ain't rapping. She's selling post mates. Just like Cardi selling, uh, what's that shit? Fashion Nova and well, Pepsi. That's cool, yeah. She's selling post mates. That's get, cool. If you get that post mate back. I'm not, I'm not mad at her. Let her do her thing. I, I, I think that's the top three to me. Female rappers, those are the top three. I, I'm I feel sure Rap City should be top three. Probably number one. Ooh. Rap City. Rap City. Rap City. Skills wise. I'm talking about skills wise. out of here, bro. You don't fuck with Rap City? Skills? What? Okay, are we talking about some whole? Yeah, other we shit? talking about skill. Like, I feel like she's bro. she top tier skill wise, not popularity. But if we gotta talk about skills of it, she's number one. Like I feel like her and Nicki probably like right here. skills wise, bar for bar. So, so you see, Nicki dropped out of the BT experience because uh, BT posted some shit like, "Oh, Cardi B out here winning Grammys, why and Nicki out here getting drugged by her wig or some some stupid shit." So Nikki got hot at at whole BT. I feel like Nikki is a. Uh, I feel she like should, I feel like that shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like she just be petty though, man. <laughs> I feel like she be kind of petty with shit. Yeah, but no, you can't, Nikki can't play me out like that and then think I'm. That's how the industry is. Like, industry play people out. Get your bag. But you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna take that same bag and they're gonna offer it to Cardi now. Yeah. So it's like get your bag. To me, like right now, I, I, I would have stood with her on that. The thing about Nikki, I fuck with Nikki. Nikki has, has already made her her presence felt in the game. I feel like she's giving Cardi too much energy. Yeah. You feel me? Like she shouldn't even be giving her no energy because you already made you you're, you're solidified. Yeah, Nikki, like she, but she's constantly giving her energy. You can't say she, yeah. I like it's like, like you you pop it. It's like it's yeah, like let her live. Man. It's like when when you remember when Jay Z and. Uh, Drake was taking little shots at each other. Mm-hmm. They would take little shots at each other, but they still was like, nigga, Jay's, like, Drake never act like he didn't know what it was. Like, Cardi knows what it is. Yeah. She's not saying Nikki ain't who she is, but it's like, you ain't gonna keep taking shots at me. Like, I'm not Drake. You feel me? Like, the thing about Cardi, she know, I'm not Drake. I don't have bars. I don't write my own shit. So when you come at me talking about this shit, you coming at me. I don't do that. I'm gonna fight you. I'm from the hood. So it's like, leave the bitch alone. She's not a rapper like that. Nikki, just get your bread. Okay, we know you can rap. We know you who you is. Nigga, the monster verse is probably still one of the hardest verses in the game. But still, like, you're if you're the queen, act like it. You don't see Beyonce over here talking to Sierra and Keisha Cole. Them bitches always talking shit about Beyonce. Beyonce ain't saying shit about none of them bitches. She just keep balling. That's how you got to conduct yourself. I feel like if Nikki conducted herself like that, they will stop talking about Cardi, but since she keeps, can, it's just like with the big, the West Coast, East Coast shit. If niggas keep talking about it, they gonna keep selling it. It's gonna keep selling shit. Shut the fuck up. I feel like, I feel like her team need to be like Nikki. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, but you Nikki, you Nikki. Now, now everybody lives on Instagram now, so now she got this. Queen Radio and yeah, she's she doing all this. That, hey, I think now. Queen Radio so she's trying is to the compete. worst thing she could ever do. She's did. trying to compete with, with yeah. Cardi as far as building this online rapport. You when can't do that. You though. can't do that. That's Cardi Lane. She, so yeah. now you're stepping into her ring and you can't beat her at that. And that's why you're losing. I remember she, I seen her make a statement about like, because uh, she, she was called one of the top earning artists in the past 10 years. And she was saying like, talking about how like nobody ever talks about all the other artists in disrespect them. But it's like, the other artists, because on the list it was Kendrick, it was J. Cole, it was Post Malone, it was uh, Drake, and it was uh, Lil Wayne. Them other artists, they don't give a fuck about nobody else. They're like, you know what I'm saying? Like Kendrick and Drake might take shots here and there, but they ain't over, you don't hear this nigga Kendrick this and YG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's pretty much what I was compared to. It's like YG, and Kendrick beefing. Like, what what would Kendrick look like trying to beef with YG? 
not to not YG, but it's like, come on, man. y'all in two different lyrical realms, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's like motherfucking J. Cole trying to go at motherfucking P.D. Pablo, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because they both from North Carolina. Like, nigga, you feel know me? Like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, J. Cole, sit your ass down. This nigga swinging it. Let this nigga freak a leap. Nigga, sit the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, that's how I feel. Like, just let Cardi do her. Like, you're not going to be, because the thing about Cardi, Cardi is the most, one of the most ratchetest rappers I feel like to come to the game like and not like not just what she said her whole persona is ratchet as fuck when I see Cardi I'll be like that's a good time that's all I think like she a good ass time you feel me that tongue the whole shit Nikki you not ratchet like that your name is Nikki Minaj but niggas ain't seen no shit like like Nikki is like, oh, you Nikki know. Nikki is corny, bro. Like, she is corny, but I don't want to yeah, say that. Yeah, I hate that all that little last <laughs> shit. Yeah, you know, I think. And all those little personalities, you remember she had? Yeah, like, she was the, it was the yeah, shit what it was. She was corny, my nigga. Like, Niggas want the real shit. And I and feel like Cardi is. Cardi is. Yeah, she that's giving out real. That's why niggas fuck with Cardi, you know what I'm saying? Because it's real. It's a bitch that you probably done fucked or you know you could fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would fuck the Cardi B in my life. She's a genuine fucking... She's a genuine hood bitch from the fucking... Yeah, we done all fucked the Cardi okay. B. It probably not as like top tier as Cardi B, but we done all fucked the Cardi yeah. B. Not that cute in the face, body crazy, you feel right, me? Right, right. But she fucked the dog shit out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, okay. yeah. But shit, we gonna wrap it up, man. Yeah. It's end the politic in the podcast episode with fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Season two. Fifteen. Yeah. All right, man. We out of here. We out. I want to be high though. Smoke that blunt. Where is that? Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one though.